Okay, the Frankenstein theory. This essentially is a guy who is a historian, also has a really great, you know, chemical background, who believes that the Frankenstein story is actually a true account turned into fiction. And he believes he knows where Frankenstein is located, well, the monster. He goes out with the film crew. And the film crew goes through the process of going to the middle of nowhere in Canada so they can try to see if they can find Frankenstein's monster. The idea being that once you can find this thing, he's got regenerative tissue, so you find a secret to immortality, not to mention a huge, huge amount of information you can gain from a medical standpoint. They meet some very unique characters along the way to help fill in bits and pieces of, you know, anecdotal evidence. And they spend a lot of time and they use a they use the term for kind of like a hunting shack. And the majority of the movie there's that whole you know, one guy's like, Oh, you're looking at that pattern of, of kills? It could be a bear. It could be a bear just hunting a line of caribou. Or it could be the monster hunting the line of caribou. Who's killing people off self preservation. So it's a really unique way of doing this sort of movie. And it always has that weird feeling of, well, is he just really obsessed, or is there actually a Frankenstein monster? They do that good, they do a really good job, but it's some documentary style. So you can get away with some of the more amateur sort of camera, amateur sort of camera moves. But then when people start disappearing, then it goes to, well, we are in bear country. Or is there actually a monster? It's actually done very well. It's not a traditional horror film. But the acting for this low budget is very good.